This is Dr. Hansa Bhargava, and we are here today with Medscape at the launch of Times Up Healthcare, and we're really excited to be here. And we have one of the founders of Times Up Healthcare, Dara Cass. Thank you so much Thank for agreeing to speak with us. Of course. So I'm going to ask Dara some questions that hopefully you know are are really important and uh, get some of those principles out. What got you interested in Times Up Healthcare in the first place? So I was already doing work in uh, gender equity in medicine, probably for the last few years, uh, specifically within emergency medicine, which is my field, and advocating for a better workplace and equitable culture for women in emergency medicine. When Time's Up the organization reached out saying that they were ready to uh, launch industry-specific initiatives and reached out to a few of us who were doing this work in healthcare, we were like, yeah, it's amazing. It's a great partnership. The work they've already done at Time's Up, creating, advocating for a safe, equi equitable, and dignified work, um, mostly starting obviously in entertainment, but then reaching out into areas like press and other spaces, uh, resonated very much with us. And so as soon as we were able to, we started collecting this crazy amazing team of women in healthcare together to form what is now the founding committee of Times of Healthcare. And you are actually one of those amazing women that we reached out to. I am really grateful and humbled to be a part of this group because I think it's just so important. So let's focus back on the vision of Times of Healthcare. What is the vision? What do we as a group, you as, as one of the leaders, hope to accomplish in the next five years, the next 10 years? So I think that everything we're doing is about creating a safe, equitable and dignified workplace for all of the people in healthcare, specifically women. Uh, and that comes in multiple areas of kind of organic goals and achievable goals and objectives and it really comes by partnering with institutions to say that we want to support you in standing up and saying yeah. that you advocate for a safe, equitable and dignified workplace. It means that we're going to partner with organizations like the ANA and ACP to say that our members deserve to work in that kind of environment and then to allow people who support our work in healthcare, industry specific sponsors, to actually help us underwrite this mission, which is to say that we will have educational resources for institutions and individuals to understand how can they support their workplace and creating better equity there. We will have resources to connect with the millions of people, specifically women, that work in the healthcare workforce. We are one-sixth of the American economy. Yeah. The idea that we are going to coalesce that entire industry under one umbrella is overwhelming. And it's uh, so important. And so important because yeah. we know that when you connect the workforce, the, the equity comes soon, it will come soon after, right? Yeah. The idea that every voice matters and that everyone, I mean, we work as a team in healthcare, yeah. right? Why do you think this matters to the patient? So we know from the data mm -hmm. that a, having a, dig, uh, a diverse workforce uh, is better for patient care, yeah. right? We know that women who are trained in all aspects of healthcare are leaving healthcare uh, because they are having whether it's an event at work or a culture of harassment or uh, the culture of n not being included or whatever that would be, and that's not good for patients. We know that teams that are, that, that women provide extraordinary care for patients. It's been proven in study and study and specialties from surgery to medicine to emergency medicine, yet bias exists everywhere. Yep. And so uh, we know that we exist in, not in a vacuum, but in the, in the incubator that is a, right now, a lot of times a toxic environment. And so by changing that environment and facilitating a cultural change from the ground up and the top down, we think we can make the world a better place, which sounds right. so crazy no, and no, lofty, no. but it does make sense. We've got to start somewhere and get somewhere, right. absolutely, right? So let me ask you a question that maybe is a devil's advocate question. Love them. <laughs> Hit me. So what about the men? What about the men? Why should they be supportive of this why should they be he for she hashtag so hashtag the funny thing about she. that is like so you know uh, there is no change without men right uh, and i don't know why anyone thinks that there is when you do work on equity it is never it's never on the underrepresented or the out of power group to um be the advocates for change although they're the ones that are creating the change a lot of the time this movement is built and meant and it, this movement is built by women 
for equity in the workplace, but it has no chance if it doesn't include men. Right. Because men are in power. Yep. Um, men want the same change we do, right? I think that we don't give enough men a chance to say, I'm here too, right? Their me too is different. It's yeah. I believe in this too, right? There's a lot of men that support this initiative, uh, for sure. There, we have yeah. you know, scores of men that do that. Yeah. And so, yes, there will be bad actors, yeah. right? And yes, there are a lot of men in power that create this culture, both for men and women who are you know, b below them in the hierarchy right. to have problems, right? And yes, harassment affects not just men, not just women, but men too. Yep. Right. So we would be out of sorts to not include men in the solution. Sure. Absolutely. And just act like they're only the problem. I'm going to bring it home to you, Dara. What do you hope for your daughter who's here today? If you don't mind me mentioning that. No, it's She's fine. lovely, by the way. <laughs> she is lovely. So How do you want the world, this world, to change? You know, if you had to say just one or two sentences. So for her. I, so I was raised by a good mom, and I hope she is too. But it comes down to that, you know, it's not, it's, it's about choice. Yeah. I want her to choose her path. That means that all paths have to be open to her. Right. And it means that no path is cut off by the unspoken, right, or the, the unseen, and that we really do create this in, involved, open, welcoming workplace by which she can do whatever she wants. That's wonderful. And that's, I think, the key to create a better world for our children, right? For the future, not just for women, but also for men, for the whole world. The so. way we've been saying this, because our parents, so my mom's a nurse, this is the last thing I'm gonna say, and so she was posting on this uh, about what we're doing and giving all these stories of how she was harassed as a young mm -hmm. nurse in the 1960s. And I said to my friends, we're doing this in honor of our parents yep. for our children. I love that. Well, congratulations, Dara. Thank you. Big hug for you.